All right, ladies and gentlemen. So today I want to tell you about the second time I ran into the union. Now, it was it was one of those times also I started the business early and um, I had, uh, it was my first trip for the day. I dropped off somebody at the Wuse market. This one is specifically at the Wuse market. It's like the unions over there operate a tad differently from the other unions in the other places. Okay, because in the Wuse market, you cannot, you should not, you dare not drop anybody outside of the gate. Now, I carried this, I think okay, there, were, there were two ladies, so I, I took them and then they were going to the Wuse market, of course, and then by the time I got there, I was like, uh, you know what, I'm just going to make a U-turn and then I'll drop you by the gate. So you could just walk in instead of driving in and then going through the traffic, you know, how it is in the Wuse market anyway. So they were like, okay with it, you know, it's even better. So as I did my U-turn and then I dropped them off. Now, as they were coming down or as we were settling up, uh, one dude was standing uh, <laughs> Jesus, close to the door, just by my side, like the back door to my side. He was just lurching around that place. Apparently what he was waiting for was for me to was to make sure that the doors were in fact open right so that he can enter and that way it's going to be harder to to escape i suppose so this dude um as soon as the ladies they settled up and then they opened the door obviously he got the idea that now the central lock the central lock was uh you know it was unlocked the doors were unlocked so he immediately just seized the opportunity, opened the door from the back and entered. As soon as he entered, oh boy, as soon as I saw him, I was like, I know this is trouble. <laughs> you know, based on my earlier experience, I just knew this was trouble. As soon as he entered, it was like, he didn't ask for union papers this time. He was like, see, there's no parking here. And you went to park. Okay, I mean, I you, you. Go or they go your office. Um, you <laughs> come more go our office and all that. And as I was still speaking to him, one of his colleagues entered the front seat as well. So now there were two people. Oh, and you know the problem with the Wuse market, you can't ever just the road are never clear. You know, for you to just zoom off if you wanted to take the risk. It's always piled up. There's always car movement. There's always traffic. So, uh, that was that option was not there. And then I was driving forward. The one in front was giving me direction to go somewhere else. The other one at the back was telling me, no, take a U-turn. So I was confused. Either way, as all this was transpiring, I was trying to talk to them and I'm like, Bro, let's just settle up, man. I just literally, like, literally that was my first trip. So I had not much in me. Let's settle up, let's settle up and all that. So ultimately, <laughs> by the time I made the U-turn and then he was like, yeah, I should stop you, I should stop you. Not far from the, apparently opposite, just directly opposite. Yeah, so just directly opposite the Wusi market gate. So... We stopped there and then I was, I checked on myself then the, the dude in the, in the back was like, so how much, how much you get now? Your money, your money, your money na 10,000 or something like that. I was like, bro, I just literally, that was my first customer for the day. There's no how I have up to 10,000 on me, right? So we kept breaking it down. Then I, I started trying to, you know, ransack the cars, but bro, just if you think I'm lying, just check, 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 and all that. And then I was able to get out 2000. And then he was like, 
uh, okay, give me that one first, my, my, my hold that one first, and as you did check all that is, so ultimately, there was a back and forth and back and forth, and ultimately it was like, okay, fine, 4K, last, 4K. So I was like, but I don't have 4K. You know, all my own effort was just to try and make sure that they, they get the barest minimum out of me because nowhere I was going to give them, I mean, lose another huge sum of money again to these guys. Like, it's so annoying, so, so annoying. Ultimately, it was like, bro, I beg, I don't get, I don't I, you know, we kept going back and forth, you know, they were threatening to do one or two things or call the other people or take me to the office or, you know, and all that. I'm like, see, boy, if I get I don't give you a B. You know, you know, <laughs> it was tiring everybody out, even myself. I was, but then I was more resilient because, yeah, you're not eating my money today. Of course, in a more genuine way. <laughs> so, ultimately... He said 4K. So I, I, I claimed to be calling some of my other friends, you know, like, bro, do you have like an extra you know, something, something to help me with so that I can pay these people off? And I was putting it on a loudspeaker. Of course, my friend did not get it, but uh, I just tried to make up some things. Long story short, long story short. The whole thing ended up, and then I think I gave them five thousand total, you know, five or six thousand total. Then they let me go. So that taught me one lesson: never drop anybody outside of the Wusia market gate. Always drive inside. Pay the toll of hundred naira. Drive inside. Pick whoever you want to pick. And then uh, another thing again is a uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Anywhere around the Busi market, not necessarily by the gate, even by the bridge could also be a problem. So anywhere around is just it's it's bad idea. I'll tell you another incident, but that's for another day, because this is that's a whole other story too. So but for now, please learn to not make that mistake. Don't drop anybody or pick up anybody around that area, especially around the uh, hours of business. Let's say towards say six or something. I think you can you can get away with like dropping or picking up when the Busi market gate is closed. You know, some people are even out there trying to load their vehicles. So, but be careful still. Be very careful, man. Just just know that that area is not. The kind of place where you just relax when picking up or dropping off people unless you drive into the market you're safe okay so that's that's our take home for this video until next time um bye bye <laughs> and please stay safe okay